It's actually quite hard to tell when you're in amongst it exactly how many people are here. Um, at least a few thousand. From the helicopter shots that we've seen, it looks like much more. They were expecting at least 10,000. So uh, we'll see what they, the official figures are from the police at the end of the day. Uh, we're about halfway through the march. In the last few minutes, the front has actually passed us. There's quite a lot of noise at the front, a lot of chanting, lots of banners. Um, and from speaking to people here, it's the same message, certainly for the people we've been speaking to, a message of solidarity with Palestinians. Every single person we've spoken to wants to see an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, and they want a humanitarian corridor set up meaningfully. Um, I've been speaking to also some people who um, have come from different parts of the country here to London. There are other protests ongoing in, in other UK cities, but this is by far the largest. Um, earlier I spoke to uh, Naramay, uh, who is actually from London, and she gave me her sense, a sense of why she felt it was so important for her to come down here today and show her support. Uh, uh, it's appalling. What happened last Saturday makes me feel... I was shocked, really shocked. But what I'm seeing now is just war crime from Israel. That has been for 75 years now. Stop the war, get together and get two states, Palestinian and Israeli. End of story. That's it. So there are at least an extra 1,000 police officers on the streets here today to help support the stewards and the organisers of this protest. It's really interesting that the Metropolitan Police have been so careful with their language. The language around this conflict is so important. And the police are using words on their social media sites such as describing themselves as independent and impartial as a service. However, they have also um, issued a warning that anyone who is holding up Hamas flags or showing any other support for terrorist organisations, then they will be arrested. And in the last half an hour, they've also issued a Section 60 AA, which is they gives them the right to be able to tell people to remove their facial coverings. Anything that will uh, conceal their identity, they can use that order at their discretion. Um, and so there very much is a sense here of the police wanting to pass this off peacefully, but also not letting uh, any potential troublemakers slip through either.